Ooh, she she back back you can kind of follow her creative. I'm so impressed how far she's taken this. She came to us initially from 12 years of sewing for the Cirque du Soleil. Those costumes are one ofs. People use those night after night and they can't afford to fall apart. I think she liked her Cirque job, but I think she likes this one better. Now she can make the items and perform the gymnastics. She has to take ideas from product designers and picture drawers and make those pictures into reality. You're talking about a Gore-Tex jacket with a particular feature, and in the afternoon, it will be there, completed, ready to test. Her one-up jackets have gone on 8,000 meter climbs in the Himalaya without a second prototype. She's got a really good command of why we're making items because she's a user. This is a long process. Being able to whistle those samples up as quickly as she does makes that so much faster. When Natalie's confronted with making another prototype, she just jumps right in with the same enthusiasm as she did on her first prototype, and her second, and her third, and her fourth. We go home at 4.30 or 5 o'clock. She stays till 8. We come in the next morning. She's already been there for an hour. She's all covered and down. She's putting in the final stitch. Artists just do that. They're obsessed. She can take a two-dimensional shape and envision what would be required to make that into a three-dimensional shape. That's very difficult. She's a remarkable lady, and we're really lucky to have her.